into it. What I loved about the speech was the title, Serious by Default, Navigating Misconceptions of Resting Expressions. However, that wasn't your speech title. Your speech title was definitely Resting Bitch Face. <laughs> right? So you should just go with that because I had no idea what a Resting Bitch Face was. Now I do. Good titles always draw people's attention. That's what you did. The second thing you did well was actually you said, I hate my resting face, my resting bitch face, you know? It's like, immediately we were listening to your speech, right? I mean, it was great. So I, I like that part. I also like the part where later on in your speech, you jumped in and you say things like, you know what is interesting? You know what is interesting? Guys like that intriguing face. No, we don't. <laughs> However, this speech was great. It was the perfect speech for your objective. Your objective of this speech was vocal variety and body language. And this is the area which I want to help you with. Because you chose a great topic for it. But you didn't execute. Body language kind of means you've got to move around, right? You've got to like, get into people's faces. But what did you do? So as you see a speech that says body language or vocal variety, forget about the PowerPoint. Stand and deliver. Stand here. Don't hide on the podium and like, hi guys. Let me tell you about my resting bitch face. Really, it's good. No, don't. Get in front of people and start to like, face them eyeball to eyeball. Eyeball to eyeball. That's what you've got to do. You can't just hide away behind the podium. So this is the perfect speech to do that, right? Because in your speech, you also gave some tips. Like, like if you want people to know who you are, you know, look at them eyeball to eyeball, right? So you are like, Jenny, eyes to eyes. <laughs> Right? You could do something like, smile, everybody smile, come on everybody smile, yeah. hey, hey, Joe, smile, come on Eric, smile, you know, get people involved in this speech, right, it's the perfect speech to do that. The other one with the lip, I have no idea what you were doing with the lip, right, like grab your lip and pull your lip down, I don't know. but this is the perfect speech, you chose a great speech but you didn't lean into that speech. There were other parts of the speech where you could have really, really done it, like the resting bitch face is a protective barrier. You stay away from me. <laughs> you know? Or at work, people think, hey, she's so professional, but they're around like, hmm, what's for dinner tonight? You know, these kinds of expressions and these kinds of body language can really, really emphasize the speech a lot more. You had so much great content here. I love the part at the beginning also with your boss, right? But you didn't like lean into that. You're kind of like, yeah, at, at work, I, or my teacher, you know, I looked at my teacher, my teacher thought that I wasn't happy and then my teacher kicked me out. Create the separation, like I was sitting in my classroom, looking at my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and my teacher's like, Karen, what's wrong with you? You're like, nothing. Stuff, right? oh like that really emphasizes the body language and the vocal variety. You really chose the right speech for it, but you've got to execute. Body language, vocal variety, get this thing thrown out. Next time I see vocal rights, body language, or PowerPoint, I will throw that computer out the window. <laughs> <laughs>